Hey everyone, it's me Milan, the director of coffee here at Organics. I am back today with a couple different things. Well, with these guys, number one. They like being on Facebook and YouTube, so they wanted to come back. And they're gonna help me count down seven ways to help you survive and start your very own smartphone detox. So we're gonna get to that in just a second. But first, I'm here to reveal to you today whether or not I chose to go back to my smartphone or to keep using my flip phone. So guys, did I go back to my smartphone? Yes! Yes! I did. I did, I did, I did. Yay. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I hope none of you are disappointed in me. But even after all that I've learned in this detox, 21 day, 22 day detox actually, I decided to go back. There's a couple things I was missing. Google Maps being one, one of them and the connection with some of my family and friends and the pictures and the text messages, it, it keeps us connected, it really does. So I miss that, that I wasn't taking pictures of them and every, every day is precious, so I like to, to do that a lot. So everything in moderation though, right? Okay, so here we go. If you're interested in starting your own smartphone or digital detox, I'm gonna give you seven ways to do it. Dallas, can you give me way number one? Number one is get the right kind of flip phone. <laughs> Get the right kind of flip phone. Yes, there are many kinds out there. Don't waste your time on the cheapy, cheapy versions. Don't try to get any from friends and family members. They probably won't work. They probably won't be the right um, style. You need a GSM phone that's 3G, at least 3G compatible. Make sure you do that and also write down your contacts because you can't transfer your contacts from a smartphone to a flip phone. It doesn't work right. So, number two. Be prepared for anxiety. Be prepared for anxiety. That was very difficult. The anxiety from not having what I needed when I needed it or what I wanted when I wanted it with my smartphone right at my hip was very, very tough to deal with. One of the things you can do to deal with the anxiety, essential oils. We got plenty of blends that you can try. Check us out on um, our website. They're amazing. Number three. Start exercising to get rid of anxiety and frustration. Exercise. Exercise is great. I've started my own exercise plan, training for a 5K. It's coming along. I am a little bit behind, but I am going <laughs> to run this thing. I'm telling you right now, I'm motivated, and it really does just help keep things centered and help keep things in balance. So exercise to relieve that frustration. Number four, right? Keep a journal of how you, I mean, well, wrong one. Have one accountabil accountability person. Person. One account accountability person. I did not have that, but I had you guys. I had you guys in the whole YouTube, uh, Facebook yeah, you community. Too. Thank you guys, the whole organics community. Really appreciated yeah. that. Um, try to have someone there that can help motivate you to continue. <laughs> Number five. Keep a journal of how you feel. Keep a journal of how you feel. Writing down things is just priceless. Your emotions, your feeling, it's great to go back and be able to look at that. Um, you'll have some funny moments for sure. What's next? Number six? Number six goes along with number five. Write stuff down. Write stuff down. Okay. This is different than a journal. This means lists. Keep yourself organized. That hand-to-brain connection is missing in so many of our lives, mine included. And hey, go, go back to the old school days. We wrote things down to remember. We kept our post-it notes up on the mirror. Go back to that. That is really what will keep you um, just on track and not forgetting things. Last one, last but not least, number seven. Don't forget to laugh. Don't forget to laugh. Laugh or you will cry because there's so many crazy moments, crazy experiences that you'll have, embarrassing ones. Laugh, laugh, it's great medicine, it's great therapy. Look, I'll be back at some point in the future. I really enjoyed this connection. I really enjoyed sharing this part of my life with you, sharing my kids with you, sharing my family. My husband is recording right now. So I, I really, I really appreciated this so much. This was a great experience. Hopefully I'll be talking to you again soon about something else related to a digital detox or maybe just something else in general. Who knows, who knows? See you guys in the future. Thank you so much. Thank like and subscribe you. to get more great you. information. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.